Hello everyone on this blessed, blessed Thursday. Uh, part two of New Me, New You. Um, I can't kind of sleep today. Um, but yesterday, um, for health wise, I had mm, oranges for breakfast, two oranges, um, coffee water and uh immune immunity drink um so today for breakfast i had an orange water coke zero i know i messed up um and i'm actually in this what 302 and I'm just now having my coffee um I am so sleepy I slept in till 11 o'clock I was tired I don't know why I just couldn't wake up today um this is ice uh caramel macchiati I know I butchered that but I am tired guys y'all just have to forgive me I'm actually still tired I want to go back to bed but I can't um, I'm actually out and about. I went to the store because they said uh, next week um, we might be getting some bad weather. Weather. So I got you know healthy snacks. Um, hold on, let me show you. So this is uh, uh, my healthy snacks. It's tomato and basil. This is so good. I got my. Ooh, both of the oldest grandsons hooked on this. <laughs> they don't like to share with each other uh, this. Um, here's the calories and everything on there. But I got these, you know, in place of chips. Because you can eat those like chips. Uh, hmm. And gluten-free... Plant protein, uh, baked red red lentil snacks. They don't uh, make the wasabi anymore. They had it in uh, green bean wasabi. Those were my favorite. Oh my gosh, those were my favorite. But I also got some other healthy snacks. You know, in case the power goes off, I can snack on those. And you know. Uh, my sister has an electric stove, I believe. So, um, if the electricity go off next week, um, praying, whew, I can. Um, I have some healthy crackers. I've got the name over. Um, I actually love those. I I just start start eating them a long time ago i don't know why but i, I would rather but i think because the price i mean the ratio compared to the big big uh box of crackers to the now um but anyway um I walked a little bit more in my sister's place. I didn't go nowhere yesterday. So I walked around a little bit in her place. I should, uh, probably should have did the trip meal. But I had the twins. Watching the twins with my son. So I couldn't really work, uh, walk on a trip meal or anything. So this is part of my healthy um I actually made chili dogs yesterday uh, for dinner about five something I ate dinner I didn't use no bread at all so it was chili and hot dogs just like that in a bowl um, that's all I ate yesterday oh and I probably do the same today um, Probably the salad that my sister made, homemade kale salad, um, with cab uh, cabbage, 
green cabbage, red cabbage, kale. I forgot what else. I think carrots. She put it in there. But this is my new me, new you um, journal for today. I skipped yesterday. Oh, like I said, I was gonna do it yesterday, but the twins were older, over, and they're like four months now. Oh my God, five months. But that boy. Ooh, the twin boy, he is solid, and he's big for his age, and I keep telling him that, and they're, they're telling me, you just being rude, he's a big boy, I mean, he's, I'm not gonna say chunky, he's solid, and he's, he's healthy for his age, you know, I get healthy, healthy, <laughs> I'm not gonna say he's fat because he, everything fits in proportion with everything. Cause he's he looks taller for his age. But nor the doctors they they're saying that he's not. But he looks taller for his age, and he is like solid, heavy, heavy boy for to be. Uh, for what is he four or five months? And the girl, she's getting there too. She's getting that solid cuteness. She's something else, but um, she's the oldest, and then the boy, Ar Aria and Arlo. Um, she's the oldest. And she already got these moods. She could cut you down with her eyes. And she was have this serious face on her face. And when she smiles, it's just like, oh. But, um. But anyway, enough about the twins. Um. But anyway. Have y'all started the y'all journey or New Year's resolution? I mean, you can you don't even have to see say New Year's resolution. You just say a journey that you want to go on, um, change stuff in your life. Like I said on the other uh, new moon, name. Why am I not tired? Uh, talking right? I am tired. I don't know if y'all can tell. Um, y'all probably can. My eyes. I am tired. Um, this is my second coffee, actually. I had the ca caramel macchiati, and then my son gave me this. Um, so I pulled that, because I had this much in there. So I put the uh, pulled there in there to mix it. And um, like I said, I haven't... Only thing I ate today was an orange, and I usually, when I make coffee, I use this. It is so good, and uh, like I said, I went shopping, and I got this today. I like this uh, kabachi, kabuchi, whatever drinks, and I find one grapefruit. Um, so I'm I'm excited to try this to probably tomorrow. Um and then I also got this. Let me know if y'all tried this. I like I actually like it. And the coconut is so overpowering. And I'm just stuttering today. I'm tired. I'm, I'm frustrated. I went to the store. And it was like one or two items over for the express lane. And this lady had an attitude that was checking everybody else. And then two people in front of me, they had a whole cart. I mean, overflowing. They put it on the uh, belt. And you can't put nothing else on there. 
and she had an attitude. You're only supposed to have 15, is the sign says up there. And I'm like, mighty funny, she has more than I do. But this is what it looked like. And I love the smell. Ah, and a coconut and coffee. I haven't used this in a long time. I used to use this a lot. And they have a different one. But I like the coconut better. So, um, and it's coconut coffee, like I said. So I drink that. You can use, um, milk with it. But I put water, and it says water. But if you want to put milk in there, you can. Um, I actually don't need crema, crema, crema. You know what I'm saying. Crema with that. Because <laughs> uh, it's, it's um, have a little sugar in there and uh, cream that look like it's, you know, coffee without the extra cream. Unless you like it sweet, sweet. This uh, straw is not doing it right. Uh, but I'm going to start back drinking that. Um, like I said, I'm only supposed to drink one or two cups of coffee a day. And I mostly drink one. Plus up today, you know, that I hit that one cup and then I added the can. So, because I need it, I, I am so tired. I don't know why. I, ooh, I think I know why. Ooh, and my doctor go get me. Both of them. I think my um, blood level is real low. And I get that. I get anemic really, really bad. And my doctor always tell me, I don't see how you walking around. You should be in a hospital. Because, you know, it get, gets below. I mean, real below the level to where it's negative. I'm, I'm in, I don't even know how to explain it. Because it's, it's a negative and then once you get down to that negative, there's so many points that you can get. But mine is a negative. It's at the almost lowest number that you can get before you have to have a blood uh, transfusion. So, hmm, I'm, I'm, I don't want a blood transfusion. I always tell them that. And they just laugh at me because they're like, you're so silly. Um, cause I'm like, uh, because I don't know what that person it is like, and I be then really lost my mind. I say I lost a little bit, but what if I get it somebody else and I lose it all, all um, at once? So, um, I always have them laughing. All of my doctors I've met through. Because I told you I had uh, the time I had to have surgery on my foot. Two torn ligaments and a floating bone in my foot. And I was in a boot for almost a year. I forgot why. It was a reason why. I forgot what my doctor said. But then I had surgery on my foot. And... My manager and co-workers used to get on me because I would be in the classroom with my boot on, spinning around on the boot, uh, dancing on the boot. They're like, you're supposed to be sitting still. Um, even the doctor's like, you're not supposed to be doing certain things. I'm like, I can't help it. And and y'all see my hair today. I got in it. Come in a puffball. It don't stay. It's like... As you can see, some of it's like wavy, some of it's like, anyway. Um, anyway. Whew. 
I'm tired still, and I'm still having problems with my breathing too, as y'all can tell. Um, really, they gonna just come in and play music uh, and dip. Anyway, let me pause. Anyway, um, what was I saying? Anyway, when I went in to talk to the uh, foot specialist, um, he was talking, he's like, I'm going to give you crutches, I'm going to give you a, like a little scooter, um, you can rest your knee on there, your foot, and get around. I'm like, ooh, good, I can go to the store, and I can go walk around, and he's like, no, that's not what I'm talking about. He said, just do, help you get around in the house, and if you got to go outside for something, that's to help you to do that and he's like okay I got you I got you and you know my doctors are crazy too um so I didn't get the scooter I didn't even get it with you I just had crust crutches and he made the cast so heavy I can barely get around or stand up um with even the crutches so he fixed me good. He got me. So when I had the cast removed and the stitches um, taken out, it is so nasty. It was nasty. They had two, three stitches on top of my foot. And then on the side where the ligaments and stuff were torn, it was like from right here where my foot is to all the way, all the way up my ankle so it, it's a long stitch and, and it was so nasty I almost passed out seriously and uh, he's like I'm like oh thank god so the guy he had to get out he was waiting for the doctor to come in and I am decided okay okay let me see how I feel so I jumped off the table and I tried to uh, stand out I almost fell over because I was in bed for almost three months, four months without moving, just going to the bathroom and because then I hit my home. So the bathroom, uh, master bathroom was in my room and so it was just wobbling to the bathroom and wobbling back to the bed because that cast was heavy. I mean, heavy. It didn't seem like it, but it was heavy. Or oh, my foot was heavy. So I would just get into bed. Sometimes my son, my older son, he forget that I didn't eat. He's like, Mom, wouldn't why didn't you call me? And I'm like, because you wouldn't have heard me because they joke about I can't yell loud, uh, loud enough. Um, he said, even when you talk, it's hard to understand what you be saying. Because they say, part of my pronunciation is off. And it's always been like that. But now it's worse. Um, so anyway, he's like, Mom. If you're hungry and I forget, let me know. And I'm like, whatever. I said, you should know. You get up and cook you something for breakfast or whatever, or grab something out of the icebox. He said, well, you be sleep sometime. But anyway, uh, so I had to have physical therapy then because I couldn't walk on that foot. It was weak. I mean, seriously, that foot was weak. It was just like floppy. I killed you not. It, I mean, I couldn't even control it. So, and I had the um, wet a boot for a couple of weeks, the boot. And then, um, what is it? Foot brace. I had to wear that. And then, uh, as I was going to physical therapy, I would take it out to do it. And, put it on at nighttime to guess 
help suppress my foot and then uh no take it off at night time put it on during the day to help support my foot anyway um i would have to do that um i'm y'all notice i look around me everywhere i go i don't care where i am I could be in a store parking lot and I just constantly look around because I'm sitting in my car and my daughter's place. And anyway, um, so I had to go through physical therapy through that and I still have to move it a lot and keep her moisturized because it feels like the stick. Oh, excuse me. Oh, excuse me. It feels like sometimes the stitches are still there and they're stretching. And it's actually the muscles and everything. So I have to keep it kind of moisturized and stuff like that. Because if it's dry, my foot, it feels so weird. And it is, sometimes I rub on it, the stitch area. It feels weird. It feels creepy sometimes. <laughs> Um, um, even my son, my second son, I have an older son, second son, and then a daughter. So two boys first and w one girl, but he saw the, he was taking me to the, uh, doctor visits and everything. And then he was there when they took off the cast and he was like, that is nasty. And I'm like, I so agree because it was nasty. And then he's like, can I touch it? I'm like, hey, no. No. I mean, it is, it wasn't, I'm not going to say it wasn't sensitive. Because nobody really touched it. Just the doctor, it, and it was like around there. He, and when he actually touched the stitches, it just felt creepy. I was like, oh, don't do that. Don't, don't. Don't, don't, don't do that. Um, we supposed to be talking to me, knew me, knew you. Anyway, excuse me. I'm just burping. The coffee. Ooh, I need to go drink some water. Ooh, I didn't have no water today. Dang. Uh, I have to drink water when I get back up from my sisters. There was a reason why I wanted to drink that big old, I don't even know, a jug. But it's like a, it keeps ice and stuff in there, cool and everything. Oh, I love that thing. And like I said, I got, it was 64 or so, more ounce. And I can drink one of those or two of those or one and a half a day. And I want to start back doing that. Because um, I've been drinking one or two bottles of water a day. And that's not me. Oh. I can drink that and then a probiotic drink and sometimes a soda but not all the time a soda I'm trying to get rid of all these sodas y'all don't I've been having Coke Zero the cans from Sam's for three or four months now and I'm trying to drink it to so I can get rid of it only one that was drink it would be my uh, sister but I could have gave it to her, but sometimes she'll take it, sometimes she don't. But, yes, I buy it on my straw a lot. It's a bad habit I've been having since I was a little girl. Um, let's see. What? Oh, I forgot to show y'all my exercise bar. And, uh, 
I forgot what the other one it is. Oh, I got to show y'all that. That I got from Five Below. If y'all want to get one of those. If they still have them. Um, I was going to start that yesterday. Um, I'm just, like I said, I'm just doing a new me. Doing my own physical therapy. Um, because I don't want to go every six months to a year to physical therapy. I let, I'd rather do it at home because I don't mind exercising at all. At all. I don't mind. I mean, I love it. I I can do it, um, I can do it because, um, when I went to physical therapy for COVID and physical therapy for my foot, the guys were like shocked that I can, uh, do most of that and I would challenge myself and I would challenge them, of course. I was, that's why everybody calls me stubborn. It's not, um, stubborn. Is I know my weakness and I know my strength. Exercise doesn't bother me just because I'm a little overweight. It doesn't, I like that feeling. Um, it, not sweating, but working out, um. Because a lot of people don't think I can do a lot of things. Yeah, I might not can run like I used to. Um, maybe the, Mainly because I don't run uh, every day. Uh, and mainly because I have asthma. And I know that would be good for my asthma. Uh, if I did pick that back up. And it would probably help get rid of asthma. Um... And I know losing weight, that, you know, I'm only, uh, like I said, I'm only going to be doing for physical therapy. And I know I'm going to be losing weight uh, because <laughs> uh, if you know what P90X is, uh, have you ever tried it? Um... I did it whew, for three months, and then I like lost track because a lot of stuff was going on with my uh, niece, niece and nephew. At the time, I had them when I was doing it, so I lost, you know, <sighs> my train of thought is continuing that. Because I had to deal with them and their health issues. So, but when I was doing P90X, within a month, no, within two weeks, I lost 20-something pounds. Mainly because that challenged me. I can say that P90X challenged me a lot. And I, that's why I love it. But the only thing that I love, I, and I learned the hard way, it says uh, wait an hour or two before doing the exercise. I waited an, um, an hour, or was it two, uh, hour, and, hour and a half, and I exercised. Let me tell you. You, for me, it will probably be three to four hours before I exercise. Be uh, if I e ate anything, anything, or drank a lot of stuff, I would have to wait. Ouch, my ear hurts. I will have to wait um close to four hours because I did it in. Uh, an hour and a or an hour and a half, and I was like in the bathroom, just ugh. I was sick, and it is not like I ate a lot. It's just 
the intensity of the workout. Man. My kids couldn't even do it. My niece that was in track couldn't even do P90X. And I'm like, I'm older than y'all are. I got a lot, a lot of a uh, little bit more weight than all of you. They were all skinny. Um, and I'm like, dang, they can hang at all. Only thing, I, like I said, I threw up. I modified everything to fit fit my level. Even though you know I try to keep up with them, I modified it in a in air tell you how to modify it and that first two days kid you not it felt like from the neck on down to my feet was so sore I mean I can barely sit down without being in pain and I went to church like that and you know, you get go to church being Baptist, you get up, you get down. Uh, I can, I was holding on to the front seat, it was like torture. Uh, I would take a shower, getting in the tub was torture, getting out of the tub was torture, taking a shower was torture, you didn't even you know, just to wash yourself hurt. And then when I would lay down, I would li literally just turn my back and flop down. And hopefully I land on a bed. Because <laughs> it was horrible. I've never been challenged that much. And like I said, I was challenged so much. It was like torture, pain. But it was good. I felt good. The, and it, once that soreness was went away, oh my God, I, I thoroughly enjoyed it. No more <laughs> uh, torture. Uh, but I got the shorter version of the P90, P90X. Uh, the 30 minute one. Which people somehow steals even right today I bought another one and it's gone again and I got the 10 minute one uh, it's Tony Horton I think they did uh, does a P90X and they have uh, certain levels you can do. There's P90X, P90X Intensity, um, P90X something. Anyway, um, my sister is the one that got me on that. Because um, she challenged me, you know, to lose weight. And I did. I within three months I lost almost forty pounds, fifty pounds. Uh, but like I said, almost three months. I start, you know, because I had to go through so much with my niece and nephew. Um, but they thought uh, I eat a little then. Once I started at P90X, uh, my kids were just, they thought it was hilarious um, because I would eat and I would eat just three or four spoons of something and I was done because my appetite just went away. And I would just mainly um, drink fluids. And they're like, Mom, you need to eat something. I'm like, this is the most I can eat. Um, so they know. And I know 
if I got something, just made a little bit of it because they will sit there. Mom, you just um, go ahead and give it to us because you're not going to finish. But um, I want to go back on that, but I don't. Uh, at my sister's place, is not enough room there to do it. I want to do the 30 minute one, so I might have to reorder it again. And I don't have a TV there. Um, I do have a. I showed y'all. I got it at uh, Walmart. It's a tablet and a DVD player, and I can play it on there. And but I have to reorder it, the 30 minute one. And it's hard to find. It's like for real. So I'm gonna have to reorder it. Probably, yeah, at the end of this month. No, next week. Uh, we're reorder it and start it ooh. I want to do it so bad y'all just don't know but my son gets the twins three or four times a week and I have to help him if y'all don't know um, my son he's losing disc in his back um Three, two or three of them, his disc in his back is deteriorating. Um, he ha might have to have surgery. I don't know if he's putting it off or just not ready yet. Or the doctor's saying what they can do. They gave him uh, medicine. But he don't talk to me about it. He talks to my sister. I'm glad of that, but I sometimes fear it. Some type of way, I mean, I always told my kids, if you can't talk to me, talk to somebody else. But it's like, you can hear him talking, and he was be right there in her, and he's showing her, showing her the paperwork and not including me but it's like, I understand at the same time, I, you know, you can talk to her or whatever. And they don't want to stress me out because I'm not supposed to be under stress and they're not supposed to stress me out because I, I, I had a stress attack. It was almost like a stroke. So... But it's 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 not fun. I'm his mom. I should be, you know, know what's going on and not feel like okay, he's having surgery today, or my sister take him, and I know nothing about it. It's still putting stress on me because it's like okay, nobody. He didn't really want to tell me and. Um, <clears throat> he went to the, my sister took him to the hospital. That's how he kind of find, found out, I think. Um, he came home, couldn't move, whatever. And then they told me the next day because he, his, uh, disc is deteriorating in his back. And it's like... I understand, once again, they don't want to stress me, but it's like, I'm your mom, I'm going to be concerned anyway, I'm your mom, so whatever is going on with you, you just, you know, you can talk to me like, okay, I'm telling you this, uh, this is what's going on with me, um, don't worry about it, the doctors are on it. You know, something. Like my oldest son. Um, two or three years ago. They said that he was going to go blind. Blind. He didn't tell me at first. He, keep, he kept it to himself. And he told his roommates. 
And he finally told me, and he's like, because I don't want you to worry. And I'm like, I'm your mom. I'm going to worry regardless. And he's like, well, he was going to go blind. And um, it was hereditary, but not on my side. And he asked his dad, and he said, not on his side. So I don't know what side. And just this past year, he went back to the eye doctor. And they say it's changed a little bit. It's not going toward blind. It's going the opposite direction. And I'm like, okay. And he's like thankful. Because he didn't want to go get a second opinion. He didn't want to check it out more. Nothing. Kids nowadays. So... I'm thankful for that, and I'm like, just keep praying, and everything, it'll be better, so, you know, we gonna always worry about our kids, regardless how old they are, because it's like, you're going blind, how, and if it's hereditary, it's not on my side. My mom's side or my dad's side. And it's like. We, we're just going to be. You know. Whatever. Because it's. You know. You're going to worry. About your kids. Whatever age they get. It's especially. We try not to. And we try to let them. Live their own life. Well. We do. Let them live their own life. But when something happens, we be concerned. And when they making bad choices, it's still like, that's my child. I'm just going to pray about it. Leave it in God's hand. But, and then the kids, grandkids come in the mix. It's like, whew. You're concerned about the grandkids being in that situation or whatever, 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 whatever. So, just to say all that, we worry about our kids at times. I mean, it's just part of being a parent. No matter how old they get. Or they think they are uh, grown. Some of them. Because um, <laughs> my oldest son, he's 6'4", six 6'2", six whatever, taller than me. I'm 5'4". And he always make it jokes be, because of my height. I mean, and it, it's funny. It is still because he's like, Mom, seriously? You're going to try to fuss at me and I'm this tall. You can't even talk loud enough to reach up where I'm. I'm like, boy, you don't hear me. You're going to feel me. And he just laughed. His roommates even laugh. He's like, y'all don't want to mess with his mom. His mom, well, they call me mom too. They're like, mom will beat your little behinds. Um, so, but they always, they like, you can't even talk English right. I'm like, uh, but you understand what I be saying. Or you so short. Um, my daughter's, what, two or three inches taller than I am. My middle son, he one or two inches taller than I am. And then my, no, yeah. Then my oldest son is six. They say he was six four for the longest. Now they saying he's six two. Excuse me. Um. And my nephews that I raised and my nieces, they're like one of my niece is shorter than I am. She's four. Four something or five one. And I tell all of them, I will still whoop your behind like your kid. Even my brother and them. 
and then they, my brother and them, as y'all know, always tell me, uh, I'm going to tell your mom, even right today, I'm going to go tell mom, my, my mom is passed, and, and y'all know, as y'all know, and they always tell me, so, China girl, oh, dang, I shouldn't have said that, that's my nickname, um, <laughs> that's my nickname, um, we're not little no, uh, no more. You need to stop trying to whoop on us. I'm like, act right. Act like you got some dang um sense. Mama is gone. That don't mean you always took mom's place, okay? Mama will kick y'all behind just like I would kick y'all behind. And she gave me permission. Keep y'all behind in order. Treat people right. Because I tell them all the time, you wouldn't want somebody to mistreat me, so don't mistreat nobody else. Ooh, I'm getting tired of sitting here. She needs to come back. Come back. Um, waiting on my sister um, to at least see my grandsons. My, did I say sisters? I'm like, I met my daughter. To see my grandsons. She went to urgent care. Uh, to get a te technical shot. What is it? What it? I forgot what she. She needed a shot period. A uh, ag right shot. Or ag right kick in the behind. Or. A shot in attitude. She need one. One or multiple of those. My daughter. She was the only girl I had, and whoo, Lord, I don't know where she get that from. I'm like, ooh, I didn't bring you up like that. Where do you go? Where do you step off the bridge from? But anyway, um, I'm getting tired. I might go into her place. My grandson's up there, but I don't like going in there. Um, because it's stairs, and they don't have the stairs fits right. It's like, it's for people with little feet to go up those stairs. It's not people that, it's, it's crazy how they got it. It's, it's, I don't know what they were thinking about. It's not for people that have, uh, I don't, my short, my foot, a little, little, oh, dang. My foot is short and kind of fat. I got, unless they're swollen too. But my feet are short. They just look big because they stay so swollen now. Um, mainly because I haven't been eating right. But I get a, I can wear from a 9 to a 10 in women, and then in men's, a 6 to a 7, depending on how they make. Um, but if they're not so swirling, I can 5.5 in men to a 6. Um, and women, sometime 8.5 to a uh, Ten, depending how they meet, but I am so oh so oh so sorry. Um, oops. I make long videos now, and I don't know if y'all watch it all or you know skip some of it. <laughs> and I know it's supposed to be in about new me, new you. And I bet probably just redo it. And anyway, I'm not. I'm just going to send it. If y'all watch it off, leave a thumbs up. If not, watch as much as y'all can. Anyway, um, welcome, welcome to my new subscribers and those who are still with me. I welcome you and I thank you. And as always, guys, stay cool. 
stay warm, stay well, stay sanitized. And as always, guys, be blessed until next time. Bye. And I have my Z Zodiac Sagittarius. I got it. Where did I get this? I don't even know. Be blessed, guys.